Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here in the Western Approaches. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as that Russian SFSR in this episode. Yes, it is titled Operation Teacup. <clears throat> I wasn't exactly sure what to call the the uh, proletariat invasion of the UK, but I figured, you know what, let's, let's do something a little British here. So, this episode will feature us invading good old uh, UK land. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're not exactly at the beginning of this episode already yet to go to invade, since we still need some of our soldiers to move their little booties around so that we can uh, actually invade properly. So, so our guys are trying to get to the front, to the ports, so that we can invade. I did check that, but the English, the British, don't really have that many divisions in Scotland, which is great for us, at least at the moment. Until they, of course, put more soldiers up there. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Tanks? Oh, I could get better tanks. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, we're, I'm doing pretty well. Hope you guys are having a great day. Oh, ooh, there's a French fleet up north. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. We have definitely supported the Irish quite a bit, at least... Or they've supported us, since we put a ton of crap ton of planes in Scotland. So, it looks like our allies are... The Italians are trying to invade the UK. Good job, guys. I mean, I, I appreciate the effort. Didn't think you'd actually make it, and Oman has finally capitulated. Now, if you don't know, we just finished off Oman, which is awesome. Uh, you guys, I'm going to send you guys back to this side of the world. And send you guys. Do I need these guys anywhere in Asia? Oh, we're finishing up Afghanistan. Not really. If we capitulate Japan, then all those holdings will be gone. I could invade Australia, but if I'm not going to invade Japan yet, there's no point for me to invade Australia. So, you guys come over here as well. Cool. Just keep bombing the hell out of those enemy ships. That'd be great. It looks like someone actually might be winning here. Jock Campbell. Is Italy going to be the first one to actually step onto British soil? You know, they actually might. And you know what? That's fine with me. I want to be secure in my belief and knowledge that we'll be... We will be successful, ultimately, when we invade. Because they might just get pushed out. Just because you invade successfully doesn't mean you won't get pushed out. Cool. Ah, uh, looks like the Italians will invade successfully. They will take an airbase. And I'm going to do my best to help them out. And I'll help build ports and forts that probably won't ever get built. But we'll do our best that we can. Plane, can they just canceled the lend -lease. Sunk two more enemy destroyers. Great. Lost a couple. Oh, lost 14 planes. Wow. Uh, yep, they're getting attacked. Sunk some British thingy-mabobbers. Are we ready to go yet? No. Well, actually, how many divisions? I only have... How many of these guys? Well, actually, most of you guys are actually ready to go. Uh, the rest of our army group that is moving around. You seven. No. Uh, I have to wait for these three soldiers to get over there. Just because... They actually are part of the group. Oh, we sunk a French battleship and destroyer. Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. Let's see what's happening over here. Sunk a couple British convoys. Awesome. Uh, the Italian allies are holding on for now, but they're not going to hold on for very long. Because they keep getting attacked by the Brits. And because of that, the Brits will probably be a little bit more aware that someone is going to probably try to invade them. As they themselves are trying to invade Dublin. But how can you do that when you don't have naval super... Well, maybe they do have naval superiority. Ah, but nice. We keep seeking a lot more French ships. I forgot the French even had a navy. Nice. Well, I mean, this is not nice, but, you know, this is nice. Another French light cruiser. Great. Uh, let's see. I wanted to make a battle cruiser, actually, instead of all these destroyers. But I need more naval experience. Actually, you know what? I'm going to train my destroyers then. Because I still need more naval XP so I can actually upgrade stuff. And I do want to make battle cruisers just because they're faster. They hit like a battleship, mostly. But they're a little faster, and they have not as much armor, but they're still really, really good. Just, like, really, really awesome. Okay, what the heck, guys? What the heck? Uh, you guys are... I have told them to to go ahead and do whatever they need to do, but I will do that as soon as we're ready to navally invade, so... Wait. Okay. So it says, flying is Poland. That's good. Uh, you guys, alright. Oh, another... Oh, wait, hold on. Is it, these are our marine divisions. It doesn't look like it, but these are actually marines. They have a lot of tanks on them, though. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys get over here. Western, eh, Western Front. We have our tank divisions here. 
Um, you know, I have already have so many divisions over here. I'm gonna actually move you to. Uh, I really don't know, cause eh, whatever. I'll just use you two. Does anyone get it? Naval? Oh, Mark and Popov. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Markin, I'm not sure what I did, but I think I'm gonna like you a lot. We have to invade. Could I potentially set up another naval invasion from Vesa Ems to invade Newcastle? That would be very interesting. Of course, the Italians were pushed out. Quite a bit of political power. Well, actually, not a lot of political power, but a lot of decisions we could potentially make. I do want some more war support, like I've said before, because our war heroes are being killed. All right, UK, yeah, keep keep doing that. It makes us feel pretty good about ourselves. And is it looks like our generals might actually be almost ready to go. They're almost ready. Cool. Maintenance companies on. Great stuff. That stuff is done. I need to make some carrier fighters or carriers. Probably carriers before carrier fighters, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. Tanks, defense, and breakthrough, actually. Huh. More range, less ability, less agility, and smack speed. Awesome. And two more to Polish babies here. Uh, throw you onto here, and actually, because these are 40 width, and they are using some rocket artillery, they're better than what we usually have. And because I'm noticing our manpower is going a little lower, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of two divisions, just because I can. That didn't help out a whole bunch, but it was better than nothing. Guys, guys, you just can't invade with a single light tank division. That's probably not super strong. That's why you put marines with your tank divisions, guys. That's, that's, that's how you do it. You guys are preparing to invade. And actually, I want to call this Army of Tanky Marines. Actually, you just say... <clears throat> marines. No, Tanky Marines. Not Marines. There we go. Tanky Marines. Awesome. Uh, I think it's some British convoys. That's good. Just kill off as many convoys as they have. And we should be good to go at this point. Alright, actually, yeah. And then, good. Good, good. Oh, come on. Alright, you seven. You are... Come on, guys. Move move up faster than this. This is pathetic. Some of you guys don't have orders. Some of you guys do. Whatever. Uh, we still have naval air supremacy in the North Sea, as well as Scotland. Not in, the, not in Ireland, though. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Convoy, convoy. Uh, do I have... I do have a few divisions down here. I do want to invade those islands. I think that would be really useful if we did. That could be set up as naval stations, radar stations. That we could probably help maybe move over to Brazil. But come on, Brazil. I want you to join my faction. What I'm going to do is improve relations with them right now. We get 0.76 uh, political power day, so that's okay. The Brits just love attacking. Alright, are you ready yet? For the love of God, please tell me. Alright, you guys are all good to go. Go ahead when you can. And the Brits are trying to invade the Scottish Highlands, which Italy took. Let us get our fleets. And by God, I hope we're ready to go. North Sea. Eastern Northern Sea. Get our not super great fleet. And help out as well in the North Sea. Um... Yeah, go ahead and abort the task. Alright, boys and girls, this is the moment of truth. Whether I'm going to have to restart doing this again from the beginning, or we're going to fail horribly. Trotsky speak, because we don't believe in God here. Not, not, not with Trotsky, no. Well, I don't know, actually. Would Trotsky allow religion to ha happen? Or take place? Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting question to ask. I don't know. Someone's probably going to say yes or no in the comments below. So, if it's a yes or no, please let me know. Would Trotsky would have allowed religion to take place? Probably be more of a personal, private matter, but... I don't know. That's kind of an interesting question to ask. Alright, so... Oh, and here we go. Awesome. Alright, boys and girls, we are launching with... With the Marines, who were just made barely right in time. Nice. American Convoy sunk. American Convoy sunk. We're attacking Scapa Flow, as well as Scotland, and a tiny, tiny portion of Northern England. Alright, we are getting attacked by planes. We have attempted to land in Roths, Royths, but we've got very, very... Oh, wow, we shot down a lot of planes. 
Uh, we have landed in Edinburgh. We have landed. We have landed. Operation Teacup is a go. That actually sounds not like a terrible name. I want you to help take these guys out, too. Uh, I don't know if we can actually take Newcastle. Probably not. Yeah, I don't think we actually can. Go ahead and hold and go ahead and go back. Oh, cool. A lot more planes dead. Awesome. Get everyone onto here. We even have the tanks over here. Oh, this ship got really hit hard. Is this a 1940s? No, it's it's my worst battleship, which is fine. Uh, still only 26 naval XP, which really sucks. Really garbage. Uh, let's see. We've got enough convoys. What do we want? This stuff is so good. I just, I want more light cruisers. And of course, like always, I do Leningrad because I'm most comfortable with it, probably. And then, well, we got a lot of heavy ships or subs. Just so many subs. I already put a lot over here, so we'll continue doing that. Alright. Lots of planes. Tons of planes. Holy goodness. So, you guys. Good luck. I'm going to actually send you guys down this way. And since we already have the tanks here, they didn't navally... In no, don't move. Since they didn't... No, don't move. Since they didn't navally have fine success, so be it. You know, so be it. Alright. Cool, sorry about that. I had to get up for a little bit, and... Man, before I even... Oh, they are attacking us here. Uh, where are you guys? Oh, you're just getting attacked. That's okay. That's okay. Just keep helping. Naval invasion support. That's all that matters right now. And actually, if we can, go ahead and push down. If you can push through the rest of England. Tanks, take these guys out. You should be able to take these guys out with very little problem. Go ahead and just move on in there if you can. Take Glasgow back from them. Great. Uh, yeah, guys, you might want to get down here. Scotland, no one likes this. No one wants to defend Scotland. That's why they, you know, that's why the Brits didn't do that. Get some more supply in there. Uh, I think we'll be okay on supply for the most part since we invaded Scotland. Ooh, Japan, we sunk a convoy. Oh, my goodness. British destroyer. American convoy. All right, so 11 planes. A lot of planes. A whole lot more planes, a lot more planes, a lot more planes, a couple planes, 26 planes, lots of planes. Oh my goodness, these guys must be taking one hell of a beating. Oh yeah, look at all this. There's so many ships that are repairing. But uh, yeah, you can add in as many planes as you want. But we still got a, we're still killing a ton of their planes, and I don't really think that they can keep this up. Maybe they can, actually. Planes, they have quite a few, quite a few. But my goal. Nice. Keep shooting down those planes. Awesome. Let's get on up here to scap a flow. Good. You guys are doing an okay job. Alright. Not bad. They haven't really realized that uh, they better protect northern England or it's all going to die. So, so many planes have been lost. Which is good for us, but I know that it doesn't look like it, but our ships are probably getting attacked quite a bit. Nice. If we can take out Scapa Flow, then we're pretty much done. And I'm only taking these guys out using a few tank divisions. Nice. Let them starve. Actually, yeah, go ahead and surround them. That'll be good. Very good. Very good. They are attacking us over here, which isn't good for us. Uh, be careful with your attacks, Kuzma. We have lost a plane. That's better than losing a ship. Nice. Very nice. Cool. Uh, let's see. Ships. Yeah. Uh, go down to 8, because that's all we really need at the moment. Okay, that... This is worrying me. Okay, okay, so we sunk two American destroyers. Okay, I thought we lost something. Like I said before in a previous episode, I am a little paranoid about losing big ships. At least capital ships. Just because if you lose them, well, they're done. Go ahead and do that. 
All right, kick it back up a notch. I want you to be like extremely aggressive, seeing as the Brits, they're probably not going to be very happy with what happens to their country when I'm done with them. Uh, if you can actually get some Coast Guards in here, that helps suppress any sort of resistance, stuff like that, and I'll protect against potential enemy invasions. Wow, the Brits are still trying to invade Ireland as I'm literally invading their own country. Wow. Nice. And of course, I guess Mexicans are also trying to invade Ireland. Everyone wants to invade Ireland. So much. Uh, yeah, I might actually need both of you on this front. As long as you've got two, that's all you need. That's really all you need. Just, just hold the place. You don't even have to advance. Just hold in line because they can't reinforce that much, especially if we're killing all their planes and any convoys that might come in. So, that'll be good. I mean, we're killing a lot of enemy planes. This is really good for us. Really, really good. We're taking Northern England. Now we're working on Northern Central England. This is great, great, great. Wow, we actually have 27 naval experience. We got one more. And we finally capitulated Afghanistan. It only took us an invasion of the United Kingdom to capitulate them. Good job, guys. Took a while, but, you know, good things take a while, usually. Awesome. Uh, still got some random guys here. You know what? You guys did such a good job. I might actually just say bye-bye. Hmm, I could just delete these because I could use more manpower, honestly. And I'm making more divisions. And I have so many armies anyway. It doesn't even matter. Thank you, General Isma. You'll be receiving your pension in the mail as well as all your fellow soldiers will as well. <laughs> a worker's pension. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. I mean, we're doing really well. I mean... It's pathetic, sometimes, sometimes, it's pathetically easy to invade and actually just take out the UK. Just because they always guard against the English Channel and southern central England. But, I mean, they never defend Scotland. It's like they want Scotland to get invaded again and again and again. Usually. Not always, but usually. Uh, subs sound like a lot, a lot of fun. Let's get some more subs. I want more subs. Maybe we can one-shot some convoys. That'd be a lot of... Guys, guys, your country's literally getting invaded. And you want to come back down to... Belgium? Guys. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But these guys are doing a pretty good job. Kuzma, doing a great job. How is our level 2 Markin Parpov? Popov. Doing pretty well as level 7 general. There's a lot of planes that are still getting shot down. 20 planes at a time. Doesn't seem like much, but if you add it up over time with all the other losses that the enemies are facing, it ain't bad. It really ain't bad. Oh, push him out. Push him out of hole, please. I, could, I mean, I could be doing this a lot better. I could actually put my tanks in the UK. But I really don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Um, actually, you know what? Where are you guys? Did I put you in Liberia? No, you're still across the world. Um, Here's what we're going to do. Norway. These guys are going to invade Iceland and Denmark. Denmark? Greenland. Close enough. All right, Denmark, you're democratic, but you're not going to stay democratic for that long. Uh, yeah, with my tanks here, these guys can't really do, they can't really do very much. Oh, they have some American tanks there, too. Very nice. Oh. It's like a Japanese convoy. And they're still invading me. Glorious. Birmingham looks pretty undefended. Yep, well, it's not defended by me. Mm, gotta love water, man. Gotta love that water. Can I nuke the Isle of Man? God, that'd be, that sounds like it would be a lot of fun, but I unfortunately cannot at the moment. Lost seven planes. Lost ten. Shot down. Thirty-six. Ten. Lost, sunk a destroyer. Oh, a couple uh, Greek sub. The Greeks believe in submarines? Huh. Couple British planes, another Greek sub, man. I don't know how many subs they made. 48, uh, I don't want to do this. Let's see, tanks, defense, and breakthrough. Sure, why not? Wales, Ugh. why would they defend Wales? No one even no one even knows where Wales is unless you're literally from the UK. They're like, United Kingdom? Okay. England? Oh, okay. We're Scotland. What? What's a Wales? You mean the animal? <laughs> I mean, 
if I didn't play Hoi 4 or these map games, I I wouldn't know where Wales would be. But no, since I played Thrones of Britannia, Total War, and this game, I know where Wales exactly is. And Cornwall. Let's go figure. Oh, we lost a couple allies in exchange for two British convoys. Not really worth it. But we'll see what we can do against that good old Norwegian Navy. Something tells me they're going to have to find some other place to uh, do. And actually, you know what? Switch from this. I mean, as much as I love escorting ships, go on patrol. Nice. Now we're going to try to seek out enemy ships. Surprised they haven't tried to attack my two, just literally just two divisions here. Seems like they could have been attacking me more. And I've just been steamrolling through the UK with just infantry. Glorious. Oh, oh no, someone got encircled here. Uh, Operation Teacup has been, I think, fairly successful. I don't know about you, but I think this is somewhat successful. How, mu how much, uh, how many more planes they got? Oh, they actually have more planes than what they started with, probably. Huh. Oh, they have a lot less manpower. What happened to their manpower? Like, earlier they had, like, f over 5 million. But, I guess not at the moment. Maybe I shot down too many planes, maybe I killed too many convoys or ships or something, but... Oh. Looks like someone is trying to escape. American light cruiser, 12 more British planes, an American destroyer, and we've got more immigrants! Ah, I love it. Good living conditions in our country have attracted people from other nations. They are now settling on our territory, you mean in our territory. Ah, we have plus 2,500 manpower. See, even in the middle of World War III, immigrants still come to the Russian SFSR. You know your country's great when you literally have extensive conscription and people still want to settle in your lands during wartime. You know you have a great country when that happens. You just you just know. Oh. Uh, more research slots. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter too much. It is 1949. Um, ba -da -dum -bum -bum. Artillery. I missed artillery, yeah. I have missed this. Ladder shooting. Very nice. Uh, can we do anything to help us destroy our torpedo? Oh, this is, should be really good. Yeah, more torpedo attack. Heck yeah. Alright, the fight for London, I guess, is over. Um, the Brits have literally just abandoned it. Ooh, what is happening over here? You got hit really hard. Ah, uh, they surrounded... They've actually def decided to defend Bristol. Interesting. You are a 40 with regular tank division, and you will be sent to... Not the Gulags, but to the regular tanky guy. Lots of enemy planes getting shot. Tons and tons and tons. Let's go ahead and send you... Ooh. You have battleships repairing. Go ahead and repair it yourself. Nice. Very good. London is still not falling yet, but London Bridge will fall down eventually. And London is ours. Operation Teacup was successful. Um, I, 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 There's not really much else for me to say, but the communist surge continues with Soviet forces recently having completed the capture of London. A parade was quickly organized by the Red Army, even before the last pockets of resistance in the city has been fully dealt with. Communist sympathizers have been quick to turn in the names of known anti-communists to the Soviet military authorities, and a people's court has convened at Trafalgar Square to punish the worst offenders. Glorious permanent revolution. Truly the best timeline. Semi-modern mechanized infantry. Semi-modern... Ah, they're probably meaning semi-modern. Oh, we're making these. Actually, I'm going to replace my infantry and my tank divisions with mechanized divisions. That'll be good. That will be very good. Uh, the fight for the UK continues on, but something tells me we'll be... We'll probably be fine. So casualties, 7.23. UK is about to capitulate. The Allies have suffered over 23 million casualties. But, uh, yeah, that's actually really good. Oh, sunk an American... Convoy, great stuff. Um, Romanian People's Republic wants to rebel, I'm going to say. Mm, not today, guys. Not today. I still want to annex the Baltic Socialist Union. Socialist Baltic Union, whatever you call it. That'll be good. Nice, we got better tanks. We get semi-modern rocket artillery next. Nothing there. Nope, nope. Alright, sunk another convoy. <clears throat> and I didn't even have to use nukes for this invasion. That's actually pretty good. You guys seem like you're not having a good time. 
A British division against tanks and marines probably isn't going to survive. Uh, we're having a little bit of trouble down here. I'm going to tell you guys to stop, seeing as eh, you're struggling just a little bit. Tanks, where are you guys? You're still in Spain. Take me, give me half, you guys. Come over here. Hmm. I don't want to send all of them in the water because that might actually get them killed. So, yeah, let's do that and send a little bit of lag to the English Channel as well. I think it'd finally be okay if we send them to the English Channel. Nice. And you are 40... You're both Marines. Actually, yeah, that's actually really good. Add them there. Good. Oh, we found some British ships. Ah, we got more immigrants. See, we... So many immigrants are coming to our country now. 2,500 more have been added to our growing population. Because nothing says success like more immigrants. Cool, 13 planes... Um, did you, do you see this? <clears throat> Apparently, we just got freaking nuked. I don't know who did it, but I'm going to say it was the Americans. Holy goodness. Holy cow, we just got nuked. And I'm about to end these Chilean men's, these Chilean sailors' careers. Alright, well, I wasn't expe expecting to get nuked all of a sudden, but, you know, things happen. Now oh, we got enough army XP that I'm going to go with more armor, a little more reliability, pretty much more everything if I can. Uh, main guns, maybe not. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. We need more repairs. So be it. We're up to ten. Great stuff. Now I keep... Oh, we've been damaged a little bit ourselves. Oh, there's quite a few ships in the English. Alright. I pissed someone off. We're getting nuked like crazy now. Go ahead and take that area. Go ahead and take that area as well. Uh, London Division, come over here. That'd be good. Yes, yeah, some of these guys really got hit hard. Nice. Very good, very good. We sunk the enemy's pride of the fleet. The Chileans, they, they want to do the best they can, but against our superior uh, weaponry, not so much. Nice. Another British convoy. Trying to capitulate the Brits at the moment. Not too easy. I mean, they're literally going to fight to the last man. And, you know, if they want to do that, then that's on them. But if they want to nuke me, I don't mind nuking them. Ah, Plymouth. Ah, Portsmouth. Uh, these guys are surrounded, so go ahead and push them out. These guys are also surrounded, so push these guys out as well. From London over here. Very good. Ah, that is what you deserve, you stupid capitalists. Oppressors. You're not gonna say no to me. I've already nuked this area, so I'll nuke it again if I have to. Bristol? Sure. I didn't want to nuke the UK, but it has been thrusted upon me to send a convincing message. And they decided <laughs> they don't want any more war. Ah. Oh. Some of our ships are getting engaged with people we don't like. Well, unfortunately for them, they no longer have any sort of air cover. And we have successfully defeated the British menace. At least on continental Europe. So... With that in mind, that's pretty much all the time for we have today. We have done a great, great thing in Operation Teacup. And we can only do better and better. And next time we will invade Greenland, Iceland, Iceland, Greenland, and maybe wherever this is, Newfoundland. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. I just sunk another pride of the British fleet. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue our permanent revolution. Thank you very much for watching.